Assalamu alaikum, welcome everyone. Uh, today I want to introduce for you the falling objects or free fall. Okay, uh, today I'll explain a lot of the acceleration and a lot of things uh, related to the falling objects. Okay, first of all, we'll start with this question at the beginning. Now, what will happen if we have uh, two objects? Okay, and there are different masses. Okay, with some one of them will be very huge, like elephant, for example, and another one it will be like mouse. Okay, now in your opinion, which one reached the ground at first? What do you think? Yes, which one reached the ground at first. Maybe uh, most of you think the elephant, of course, reached the ground at first because this one heavier than the other one. Okay, but what we have, and if we have another object, we have two objects, like for example, okay, and this the first one will be higher than the other one. Okay, this object number one, and this is the other object number two. Okay, now which one reached the ground at first? Now there are different uh, levels or different spaces uh, between the, the ground and uh, uh, here the, this one a little higher than the other one. Which one read the ground at first? Some of you think also number two read the ground at first because of the highest. Okay, because the number two lower than number one. Okay, let's make an experiment with each other. Now we have Mr. Kamal shows us what about uh, uh, two objects or different masses or different uh, uh, materials. What will happen for all of these objects? Let's follow Mr. Kamal with each other, see what will happen. Let's see him. Assalamu alaikum, welcome everyone. Today I will introduce for you a very simple experiment about free fall for objects. Maybe the object have a different materials or the object will be the same. Let's make a simple experiment today to, to uh, explain that. Now, I have two objects and they made up of the same materials, made up of the heavier plastic. And I will drop down both of them at the same time from different spaces, okay? The red one will be higher than the purple one. Which one read the ground at first? What do you think? Some of you think about the purple one reach the ground at first because this one lower than the other one. Let's see. Three, two, one. Both of them reach the ground at the same moment. Why? Let's use another another materials to know. Now I will have a different materials. This one made of plastic, heavy plastic, and this one made of this watch. Okay, and I will release both of them at the same time. Which one reached the ground at first? Let's see. Three, two, one. Of course, the plastic heavier than the, the sponge. The plastic reached the ground at first because of heavier. No, not because of heavier. Because of the air resistance. Because of, but in fact, if we remove all of the air resistance, both of them reach the floor at the same time. Do you know why of all of these actions will happen? Because of the gravity. Oh, amazing. Can you see that, guys? Now, it doesn't matter how much ob how much matter do we have, how much this uh, one, uh, it will be uh, it will be heavier than the other one. Wh what about the materials it's made up of? Okay, but I in fact, if we release both of these objects, okay, from the same level, the elephant and mouse from the same level, I think, of course, the elephant read the ground at first. But not because of the mass, not because of the elephant will be, uh, uh, it will be uh, heavier than the mouse. But in fact, because of the air, because of the air, because here we have a lot of air and the air will exert on the mouse more than the elephant because of the weight. Okay, now, but what will happen if we remove all of the air from this place? If we remove all of the air, all objects will read the ground at the same time. Okay, look over here, guys. Now, we have an astronaut and the ast this astronaut not made the same made the same experiment okay he take a feather he take a symbol feather and rock okay and release both of them at the same time okay at, at the surface of the moon okay and both of them reach the ground at the same time do you know why because there are no air on the surface of the moon no air there because that both of them reach the ground at the same time okay someone asked me there is gravity gravity for moon of course any object have a gravity any object have a gravity and so do you and so do i yeah but we will talk about that in another time but all objects have a gravity earth moon mars sun all objects do we have okay now as you see here guys all of the objects read the ground at the first uh, at the same time if we don't have an air okay now all of the object uh, if we if we regulated the air all objects read the ground at the same time okay let's complete 
Okay, uh, here uh, we have another uh, experiment. Uh, if we have a vacuum and this vacuum will absorb all of the air in this place, we will remove all of the air in this place. All of the object will, uh, uh, will move at the same time and reach that floor at the same time. You can see that here, when there's no air resistance, no air resistance, we remove all of the air, all objects will, uh, uh, with the same acceleration, uh, regardless the, their their mass okay uh, uh, doesn't matter their mass and we don't care about the mass all of the objects read the ground at the Only same time one okay. force will acting on the object that's called the gravity okay that the gravity is only the force acting for all of the objects because that it doesn't matter that what is the object made up of or what is the mass of this gravity or what is the uh, uh, what is the, the the space or distance between the ground and and this object it doesn't matter for all of these things we just have only one force acting on the gravity if we neglecting the air if we remove the air okay guys now we all of these objects will move down as you see here the the, the all of the objects will speeding up okay all of the object will speeding up what does it mean it means we have acceleration the object will accelerate the speed will be faster and faster and faster and faster as you see here okay now this uh, uh, speeding up uh, for the objects will move by the acceleration this acceleration called free fall acceleration that is the free fall acceleration because of the object okay free fall acceleration okay free fall acceleration we can say that ag okay it it means free fall acceleration it means the acceleration because of the gravity okay we can make another symbol for this one is g okay come from the acceleration uh, or uh, the gravitational acceleration gravitational acceleration it means the uh, the, uh, the speeding up of the object because of the earth gravity okay and it will equals approximately 9.8 meter per second uh, on the earth's surface okay for earth's surface equals 9.8 meter per second and of course it will be different for another object if we on the mars if we on the moon it will be different number not like that this 9 9.8 you should to understand and memorize this number very well this is the four earth we have another for the other objects okay let's complete let's explain more what does it mean why the acceler why the acceleration make the, the speeding up the object how the object will speeding up okay and what does it mean it uh, the g or uh, uh, the uh, uh, gravitational acceleration equals 9.8 meter per second square what does it mean suppose that we have ball and this girl will drop the ball from the zero point from the from the zero second at the beginning it will be vi equals zero meter per second okay now after one minute it equals one times 9.8 meter per second after two minutes it equals two multiply 9.8 meter per second okay after three minutes uh, th sorry after three seconds it will be three times 9.8 meter per second four times 9.8 5 times 9.8 because that the object is beating up the object is beating up when the object moves down more the speeding up speeding up speeding up can you see that here at the end it will equals approximately 49 meter per second okay and it equal it, it, it will written like that 9.8 meter per second per second because each every second the uh, speed will will increase the speed will increase every second every second Okay, that is the, uh, the the speeding up of all of objects. Because that, guys, if we have two objects, because that if we have two objects and the the first one will be uh, lower than the other one, okay, that is the uh, these objects. Both of them reach the ground at the same time. Why? Because this one will be faster than the other one. Number two will be faster than the other one. Okay, if you look over here, guys, now number. If you look over here, number two, it will be faster than number one. Okay, so both that this one here reach at the ground at 100 meter per second. Okay, after 10 seconds. But this after five seconds, it will approximately just a 50 meter per second. We have different in speed, but they read the ground at the same time. That's why you can see that the all objects read the ground at the same time by the different uh, by the different spaces because of the free fall acceleration and because of the gravity here down.
because of the gravity. Uh, another thing uh, with the uh, object moves up and down. What will happen if we have an object and this object will, will we uh, uh, release it up and uh, throw it up? Uh, we have object throw it up and uh, it will reach at the top and moves down again. What will happen for this object? Look over here. Suppose that here we have a ball and this ball moves up like that. Okay. Here after uh, two seconds or more, and here it reached the uh, top point. Here that is the top, okay, and it moves down again, and it moves down again. Okay, guys, now let's explain this action. Let's explain this action. Okay, at the beginning, when the ball start from uh, uh, this place, here the initial velocity. Okay, here the initial velocity equals number. Suppose that it start with the 10 meter per second. Okay, as you see here, that is the initial velocity, and the initial velocity in the uh, uh, in the positive in the positive direction. Because that here this one be positive. Okay, positive 10 meter per second. Okay, now it moves up. Now, but in fact, when this object moves up, it will slow down. Here it will be, for, suppose that will be 5 meter per second. Slow down more, 2.5 meter per second. Slow down more, be 0. Okay, in the top here, the object speed will become 0. Okay, now VF, VF in this part here, when the object moves down in the top level, will equal 0. Okay, okay, now, but, but of course, G equal minus or negative 9.8 meter per second why negative because the object slowed down the object was 10 now 5 2.5 and like that now slowing down and as you know the slowing down object the uh, 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 g or acceleration will be negative okay and the opposite is right here in the second hand okay if you look over here now when this one is trying to move down vi in this action equal zero okay vi here equal uh, zero start from the rest and it moves to be faster to be faster and faster and faster okay at the end here before to hit the ground vf at the end equal approximately 10 meter per second Okay, that is the why the, uh, uh, that's why the object will uh, be uh, in the top will be zero and the end it will be uh, faster and faster. Okay, and the G here of course will be uh, uh, positive uh, 9.8. Why? Because of the object, because of the object is uh, speeding up, because of the object is speeding up. Okay, if we try to draw, if we try to draw this action for the graph, we can draw it now. Now, uh, the time in the in the uh, uh, the first time, okay, in one second, in one second, it will be ten meter per second, okay. After two seconds, it will be uh, it will be five. Now slow down. After three seconds, it will be two point five. After uh, four seconds, it will be zero, okay. And now it's beating up again. Five, two point five. 6 but by minus guys okay now why minus because of the object w uh, moves to the uh, it moves down the object moves up here that is the positive direction and it moves down that is the uh, negative direction okay now here negative 2.5 after 6 seconds it will be a, a negative 5 6 7 seconds it will be negative 10 okay let's draw it to be like that start to draw it here this is the velocity and here this is the time okay uh, and you start from here this is the 10 uh, yeah here 10 here 5 here 2 and, uh, and half here uh, minus 2 and half here 5, here minus 5, here minus 10. Okay, uh, not necessary to write all of these numbers. Uh, okay, you can, w when you draw it, you can see that it will be like that. Okay, it means the object at the, f at the beginning was slowing down and is speeding up, but to the, uh, uh, to, to the negative axis. Okay, down, 
okay to the negative uh, down okay guys now that's the action for graph for the uh, uh, this uh, going up and down for the organ for the objects okay let's answer some problems about that okay okay guys uh, to answer the problems we will use the same equations of the acceleration in constant acceleration these are four uh, uh, equations do you know that them all okay you, that's a very important to uh, understand to memorize okay and you should to practice a lot to memorize them okay uh, we will make simple revision about what is the what about the uh, initial velocity and what about the final velocity and like that and i give you some notes about the problems to understand more of the problems okay now uh, here first uh, symbol do we have a vi and a vi for the initial velocity and they measured by meter per second sometimes he will use the same word speed for the vi but you should to understand the difference between velocity and speed okay velocity with the direction and speed without direction because that if you want to go if you wanted to get out the vf okay uh, now vf that for vf for final velocity okay and the fine when you speak about final velocity equals by or measured by also meter per second when you speak about the final velocity it should to be at the end positive or negative why because this is the uh, uh, have a direction the direction for this one if this one moves down it will be uh, uh, negative okay if this uh, object moves up it will be positive like that if he talking about velocity but if you give if he want a speed now you just get, uh, get the numbers without negative or positive okay you should understand this point uh, now anyways uh, here uh, vf or uh, vi sometimes we use the same symbols for the speed the same symbols for speed okay by the way why also guys now why it means distance or displacement or space all in the same guys okay now the why for distance okay or uh, displacement okay now all in the same symbol okay and we are of course for the vertical axis here for the vertical axis because we are speaking about a free fall and all the free fall will happen in the vertical axis okay now what about uh, g of course g as you know guys i ju have just explained that now g for uh, the uh, gravitational acceleration or free fall acceleration free fall acceleration and of course you should to, uh, memorize this number 9.8 meter per second square that for the uh, uh, on the earth surface if you have another object like moon or mars or like that he will give you the uh, free fall acceleration for that objects okay and now this is the symbols you should to understand okay what about the uh, what about the equations what about the equations we have four equations first one is um, delta x yes uh, yeah delta x equals half vf plus vi uh, and delta t okay yeah it's not really important to write delta or not no not a big deal you if you want to write a delta if you don't want no problem but here delta means a change in if we have two x or if we have two uh, uh, times you should to make minus or you should to make the, uh, the the change in times and like that you should to be careful i mean okay now but you're not necessary to write delta or not okay now the second one this one not really important in in the free fall this one not really important in the free fall but the three one we i will write them now that's the most important uh, uh, equations now the th second one is uh, here we have vf equals vi uh, plus g t can you see that guys here i will change a for g okay now i will change a and it make it g g here it means the gravitational acceleration or free fall acceleration now what about number three now the third one is um delta x yes delta x equals v i t plus half g t square okay can you see that here guys i change it a there and g here okay number four that's the most important one guys most important one v f square equals v i square plus two g y 2 g y here i change x for y because we are speaking about the vertical axis okay guys now there's the four equations you should to understand and you should to know how can we get out t how can we get out vf 
or vi and like that okay guys now here we have some notes if we have object and start from this point and it moves up now and they give you speed the speed it will be the starting from the starting point it means that it will be the vi okay and if he told you this object reached the top point without telling you now vf equals zero he don't tell you zero yes but he told you uh, get the uh, top point reach the top point top point it means vf equals zero okay and g it, it will be minus 9.8 he, he don't tell you all of this information you should understand that okay guys now uh, and also if we have an, an other hand the opposite is right if we have another object and this object for example uh, moves from up in this part okay now suppose that we have a flower boat and this flower boat moves down from uh, this place now he don't telling you that he don't tell you he, this here vi how much vi here zero he don't tell you these informations. You should to understand that. Because this one starts from the rest. Okay? And before reaching the ground, VF here equals very, uh, 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 the very high speed before hitting ground. Okay? Yeah, okay. Now, this is a very important uh, 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 notes. You should to understand that before answer the questions or before answer the problems. Okay? Now, let's go to the problems to answer some problems with each other. Okay. Let's take this problem. Here we have this boy and a play with this ball uh, called Jason and uh, Jason hit the, the volleyball so that moves with the initial velocity. He give you the initial velocity. Okay, now here you can write here. That's the VI. This is the first given for you. Okay, VI equals uh, six meter per second. Okay, uh, and it's and it's straight up. Okay, upward moves upward like that. Okay, yeah, that moves upward. If the volleyball starts from two meters, aha, this is a very important point, guys. Now, not to start from the ground. No, we have here place between the ground and the, the, the point started up from. Because that here we have minus two. Do you know why minus two? Because this volleyball moves up and moves down again. Now we have some place here not accounted with that it moves up and down. Because that we, we should to write minus two. Okay, we should to write it minus. And that is the y, guys. That is the y. y equals minus two meters. Minus two meters. Okay, now above the floor. Okay, how long will it uh, 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 will it be in the air before it is struck the floor okay now he w he wants he wants the time he wants the time guys he wants the time okay now let's explain it okay now uh, to get the time if you uh, look over for the equations now uh, let's write the givens at first what he gave you and uh, uh, what is the uh, things you know? What is the things you don't know? Now I know vi equals six meter per second. I will change this color. I don't like it. Uh, I think this one better. And give you y equals minus two uh, meters. Okay. And uh, he wants t. And of course you know that the uh, g equals g equals uh, nine point eight meter per second okay but here g should to be minus do you know why because this object moves up okay now the g will uh, uh, decrease okay now the speed sorry decrease and the g equals a minus 9.8 meter per second Okay, now what about uh, uh, T? Okay, to get T, guys, we have the second equation uh, called, I will change also this color. Yeah, uh, V uh, F equals V I plus G T. Now we want T. We don't have V F. We should to get V F at first. Now, V F, we have the, the fourth equation called V F equals uh, square root square root vi square plus 2gy that's in the fourth equation this is the fourth equation okay i will complete it here i will just raise to can complete it okay now we can get g by this way okay now vf uh, we can just uh, sub substitute 
vf equals be careful for the square and uh, minus and all of these things and uh, now vi uh, equals 6 square plus 2 multiply minus change color you can see that clear minus 9.8 meter per second square times minus 2 okay if you make it by calculator it equals approximately uh, 40 uh, 42 I think yes 42 meter per second okay okay but here you should to write you should to write minus you should to write minus y because this object moves down and he want the velocity before hitting the ground and here it will moves down and th this direction this direction for v it will be negative it will be negative okay now this is the vf guys equal minus 42 meter per second what about t to get out t from this here now vf equals vi uh, plus g t now we have all of things to get out t okay now t equals look over now t equals vf minus ve this one go to the other side by the, the uh, different sign and uh, divided by g and substitute substitute now vf we get it uh, minus 42 minus 6 multiply 9.8 make it by calculator equals Okay, if you take the, uh, the uh, square root for this one, uh, we can get out the answer here. Uh, it will be uh, at the end approximately uh, uh, minus, okay, minus 9.7, uh, minus 0.7 uh, meter per second, okay? And we write here minus because this object moves down, okay, in this direction, okay? Uh, and here uh, at the end, we want T, we can get T from this equation okay t if we remove vi in the that's uh, in the other side okay and the change sign it will be like that vf minus vi divided by g equals t okay now uh, substitute now here uh, vf minus 8.7 uh, minus uh, 6 divided by minus 9.8 equals at the end 1.5 or one and a half uh, seconds okay that is the uh, uh, the time for this ball uh, before it strikes the floor okay equation uh, and this uh, symbol problem uh, I uh, I think if you uh, if you answer a lot of problems you can understand more at the end I hope you understand this session and I hope you enjoy with me uh, to understand all of these things uh, and uh, to to understand more you should to practice a lot okay the physics you should to practice a lot practice to understand i hope you enjoy with me and i hope you understand a lot see you next video inshallah assalamu alaikum